Fall is a beautiful season with so much to take photos of, but you may not have the time or photography knowledge to set up each shot perfectly. Here are six tips to fix some common issues with fall photos and make them look professional. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. It's important to get a good base photo before you start adjusting or adding effects. If your photo is crooked, it really takes away from what could be a professional looking shot. Luckily, it's easy to straighten photographs in PaintShop Pro. Go to the toolbar on the left and select the Straighten tool. A straightening bar with end handles will pop up on the image. Now drag each handle of the straightening bar to align it with the part of the image that you want to straighten. I'm going to line up the straightening bar along the edge of the walls of this red barn. Then click on the check mark to apply the changes. And now you can see my farm view is nice and straight. To get a good base photo, you may also need to crop out unwanted elements and to follow the basic rules of photo composition to create a nice balance. Click on the Crop tool from the toolbar on the left. Then click on the Preset drop-down menu. Here you can choose from a number of standard photo sizes, but you can also select Freeform to crop the image and enter in your own custom width and height dimensions. But for this image, I'm going to click on the 16 by 9 preset. Now I can drag the corner boxes to crop the image, and the aspect ratio will be automatically maintained. We can also use the rule of thirds grid to help make our snapshot look even more professional. Horizons should align with the horizontal grid line, and important objects or subjects at one of the horizontal or vertical intersections. For this image, I'm going to line where the sky begins along the upper horizontal line. Now I can click the green check to apply the crop to the current image, or select Crop as New Image to preserve my original image. We can use the Blemish Fixer to perfect skin or even to remove some small and wanted objects. To open the Makeover tools, click the drop down arrow next to the Red Eye tool, then click Makeover. Now click on Blemish Fixer. Then adjust the brush size so that the blemish fits just inside the inner circle. Hover over the blemish, click, and you'll see how the blemish has been covered. We can also use Magic Fill to remove larger objects. I want to remove this white stop lettering on the street of this city street shot. Just use one of the selection tools, then click and drag to select the object you want to remove. Then click on Magic Fill, and now you'll see the lettering has been removed. I can do this process again to remove the sewer drain. And now the snapshot looks nice and clean. Another common issue with fall photos is the lighting. If it's a rainy or cloudy day, your photos may end up looking too dark. First, click on Adjust, then click Smart Photo Fix, and this may be all you need. Now my city street shot looks brighter and clearer. Alternatively, for photos that are too dark like this one, you can click on Adjust, then Fill Flash, and adjust the settings to your liking. Or Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Fill Light and Clarity, and make adjustments to make your photo brighter and more cheerful looking. For photos that are too light or washed out, we can click on Adjust, then Backlighting. There are several ways to adjust color in PaintShop Pro, but these are the two most common and easy methods. Click on Adjust, then White Balance to make the photo warmer or cooler. This isn't just for fixing color issues, but can also be used to change the mood or style of an image. We can also click on Adjust, Hue and Saturation, Hue Saturation Lightness. From here, we can increase the saturation level 
to make your photos more vibrant and colorful. Just make sure not to overdo it. PaintShop Pro has a wide variety of effects to choose from. I'm going to demonstrate a few of my favorites. Go to Adjust, then Depth of Field. This is a great effect to use especially for portraits. Choose a selection tool and drag out your area of focus. You can then adjust the blur intensity and the feather edge. Now you'll see I've created a nice effect that is softly focusing on the dog in the image. We can also try some cool effects to turn our photograph into a piece of artwork. Go to Effects, Art Media Effects, and choose an effect such as charcoal. Then adjust the settings or use one of the presets from the drop-down menu to transform your photograph. Finally, we can try out one of the instant effects by clicking on Palettes, then Instant Effects. From here, let's go to the AI-powered category and select Studio. You can see how the effect looks in the preview pane. Adjust the strength slider to your liking and then double click on the effect to apply it. And just like that, we've transformed our image into what looks like a unique painting. These are just a few of the many ways you can edit your fall photos before sharing them with your friends and family. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.